This event is one of the events that we're holding during the American Chemical Society meeting here in Boston to help bring chemistry out to the community and to the children here in Boston. To me, this sort of activity is important because of the hands-on nature, the opportunity to get kids in and give them a chance to do experiments, even though they don't know they're doing experiments. When we were kids, we tried stuff, and kids like to try stuff. But that means that they're, that they're working with things with their hands. We give them the opportunity to do this in this, in this kind of outreach. It's, it's a way of touching chemistry and learning about chemistry as a science and doing it right there in your own two hands. I think that, um, that having children engage with the emotion of chemistry is important since if they have some kind of experience hands-on with this kind of experiment, they will be motivated and more open to the study of sciences and chemistry perhaps. This sort of hands-on education is very important because it helps people, the general public, who are not scientists or have not yet been exposed to science or chemistry, to really see the importance of chemistry in our everyday lives because it is all around us. The reason that I volunteer for activities like we're having today um, is because I like to see the light on in the children's faces as they do the experiment, whether they get it to work or it's not quite right, and then to watch them. That hands-on is what really attracted me as a child and kept me in the discipline. So even though they may not um, have this material the whole time and may be stuck away, but when they pull it out, when it surfaces again, they can remember a good time and that science is fun and we're not all pocket protector-wearing people. So um, that's why I do this. And I think if you can catch them early, it helps keep that interest and lets them know that they can do this. What we're hoping to do is encourage kids to spend a little more time with science and to not be afraid of science. If you look at our testing, our kids are fully equivalent to kids in the rest of the world up to about the fourth grade. But by the seventh grade, our test scores start to fall off a little bit and we're distinctly behind by the time we get to, get to the ninth grade and into high school. So some of these activities are, are meant to hope to encourage kids, particularly between the fourth and seventh grade, to stay interested in school and to stay interested in science. Because if we can get them to the seventh grade, we can probably get them through to high school with an interest in science. And perhaps we wind up with, with more people with an interest in science through college, through grad school, and, and create more innovators that ultimately contribute to our economy. What's happening? Is one Thank blocking the sun welcome. better? Which one? So right now you know that if you use this brand, it's going to stop the sun from hurting your skin. The ACS is very committed to early education. And actually, it, it, in some ways, it's self-preservation. Because science is important for our country because we are not in a position as the, the, the most developed country in the world to be making very inexpensive things and shipping them to the world. Our place in the world is to create high value, new technology, stuff at the leading edge of the technology curve. Science yields innovation and innovation yields economy. There we go, you caught it.